Problem 9. The ends, the ends of a cylindrical rod 6.4 mm in diameter and 250 mm long are mounted between rigid supports. The rod is stress free at room temperature. Upon cooling to minus 40 degrees centigrade, a maximum thermally induced tensile stress of 100 megapas 125 megapascal is possible of which the following metals are alloys uh, may the rod be fabricated so aluminium copper brass 1025 steel and tungsten so here if you see that if there is this uh, steel rod okay and then that rod is supported on two rigid supports and then the temperature falls from 20 degree centigrade to minus 40 degree centigrade so with the fall of temperature the rod would try to contract that means the rod would try to pull against these supports okay so there will be a uh, induced tensile stress okay along at the support okay so the support can only take up up to about 125 megapascal stress so the contraction in the rod will depend on the type of the material such as these materials which are given so some of the rods will contract more some of the rods will contract less so the uh, the due to the contraction in the uh, rod stress will be induced so those stresses can be calculated by so for example this thermal stress if you want to calculate this can be calculated by the modulus of elasticity multiplied by the coefficient of thermal expansion multiplied by the change in temperature so in this case E and alpha L values are known and of course delta T is from 20 to minus 40 degrees centigrade so 20 minus minus 40 that means 60 degrees centigrade so for this if we want so for, for each of this uh, alloy or metal we can determine this value so for example for this it is 69 into 10 to the power 3 megapascal times 23.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 and multiplied by 60 degrees centigrade so it will be so in this case it will be 90 7.7 .7 megapascal for aluminium for this in a similar way we can perform the calculation so we will get the values so by the same calculations we get these values uh, so all the values are less than 120 5 megapascal except for 1025 steel uh, and uh, so that means tungsten brass copper and aluminium can be used but 1025 steel cannot be used in that uh, situation uh, although steel has a very high modulus of elasticity in this case but this high modulus of elasticity also resulted in two high uh, thermal stresses the modulus of elasticity for tungsten is even higher but its coefficient of thermal expansion is much lower so therefore uh, it still qualified okay so in this regard aluminium is the best choice over here because it has the lowest stress